Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we're going to talk about all the Warframe Incarnan adapter weapons that came in Duveri Paradox. We're going to go over the release order of them and just talk about them in general. If you don't know what Incarnan adapters are, they're essentially a way to buff weapons in Warframe that was recently released in Duveri's Paradox, or the Duveri Paradox. You run the Circuit Steel Path in the Duveri Paradox, you buy stuff from Cavalero, well, okay. sorry, buy stuff from the circuit, essentially. Run the Steel Path circuit to get it, not buy it. Okay, words are hard. And then you make it here with Duveri General Resources. And as you can see, the general stat increases are huge because I believe it's a lot of base stat increase. So, for my base Bratton, increase damage a lot. Bratton Prime, increase damage, increase damage. That one is a lot lower, right? so so sad for that you have just like base increased crit chance so it's a way to evolve upgrade and make weapons better and then when they evolve mid combat they get a huge bonus so i think kunai's start tracking and exploding i think certain guns just turn into massive aoe powerhouses if you've used incarnate weapons before you know the general situation and the only real way to get those Incarnan adapters are from the Duveri Paradox. So you have to definitely remember to get Duveri Paradox. And you have to unlock it on Steel Path. Which means that you have to in complete every single base node and like map in Warframe. And that'll take a while. So Incarnan adapters are a definite endgame thing. But once you unlock them, they're great, right? You just go over to the circuit, go to Steel Path, that's your upgrade tree. I'm gonna get the Latrin Incarnan, I'm gonna get the Strun Incarnan Adapter, and that's pretty big. This is week two of Arcane Incarnan, sorry, Adapters, and that means that there are many other weeks to come. And we can take a look at this, boom, by just taking a look at the Warframe patch notes that were released with Duveri Paradox. They have this lovely image, which I'll probably throw up as the thumbnail, with I think week 5 or 4, right? Torrid Incarnan, Dual Toxicist Incarnan, Dual Ikor Incarnan, Miter Incarnan, Atomos Incarnan, right? Seems pretty ridiculous and strong. But if we go down here, we have the six week Incarnan weapon schedule, and it is a set in stone schedule that is infinitely repeating. So, week one, Bratton, Lado, Skana, Paris, Kunai. Week two, Bo, Latrin, Furus, Furix, Strun. That's what we're on right now. Week three, Lex, Magistar, Boltor, Bronco, and Ceramic Dagger. Week four, Torrid, Dual Toxicist, Dual Ecor, Miter, Atomos. Week 5, Akin Brunt, Soma, I'm excited for that, Vasto, Nami Solo, and Burstin. Week 6, it's all the Stalker stuff, Zylox, Sabir, Dread, Despair, and Hate. So that'll actually be pretty interesting. I'll probably take Hate and Despair, but uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. That is the general Incarnan uh, schedule right now. They have the Steel Path Circuit Reward uh, tiers there, and then the remainder items are randomized between Kuva, Riven Slivers, Exilus Adapters, regular form of Blueprint, Riven Mods, 3-day boosters, right? So, new Duveri Arcanes. You can level it up, I believe, to like rank 20 or something. But hey, to unlock Zeraman, you do have to complete the new war. To unlock the steel path, you have to complete every regular node in the game, which includes Zeraman stuff. So, Incarnate Adapters are endgame. You are not able to unlock these until you're done all of the regular nodes in Duveri Paradox, all of the regular nodes in regular Warframe, right? It's everything. So, it's going to take a lot of time. If you're new to the game, mid game or early game, it's going to take some time. So, no need to rush. But at the moment, that is the Steel Path Incarnan Genesis schedule. It's very important to note, every single one of these weapons will get insanely stronger or better through the Incarnan upgrades, right? Because they get massive boosts along with like the passive 
I should say activatable in Karnin form, which gives more boosts, right? With Kunai, like I said earlier, they start tracking, they start exploding. Everything just gets better, right? If you've used the Latum, if you've used any of the Incarnin weapons, you understand that once you activate the Incarnin mode, it gets a big buff and everything does a lot more. So that's right now the Incarnin adapter weapon release order. You can choose two a week. And without a doubt, everything's going to become even stronger. And uh, the power fantasy of Warframe continues forever. So there's a lot you can check out in the patch notes if anyone cares to go through it. I won't bother because it's too long and I've already kind of done that. But that's the Incarnan adapters. Hope this helps. Sub like, do a backflip. Epic Games creator code Pupsker if you ever want to support the channel. All that. Just wanted to quickly record a small video to talk about this because people do ask a lot on stream. And I think more people are realizing now that the it's in the patch notes. So yeah, hope it helps. Cheers, cheers.